Coach Volkman, a uh, rough one tonight, but I guess the only positive you can take out of it is one of your old athletes, uh, Mark Haywald is the coach for uh, the Purple Raiders of Mount Union. Talk about the duel and you know, talk about, the, you know, obviously you're pretty disappointed with the result, but is there anything good about your guy coming in and beating your own guy? You know, it's, uh, to me, it's kind of an honor and a privilege to be able to compete you know, against Mark, and he's doing a great job with that program. I, I knew that would be the case when he took that program over. So he's only brought positive things to the Mount Union Wrestling Program. He's really kind of drawn it out of the ashes. That's terrific. That's a great deal. And we had some tight matches today. That's all good. It's a, you know, a year-long experience. We're up against it a little bit, to be honest with you. We have seven potential starters that are red-shirting for this season. So we're, we're greener than we ever have been, but we're a work in progress. So, you know, I'm not really disappointed about it. I'm really kind of excited about our learning potential and our learning curve. I don't think we're settled in at all of our weight classes for the rest of the season. We'll continue to get better, I hope, and we're going to try to be as competitive as we possibly can, you know, by the end of the season. I counted four true freshmen in the lineup, and I also counted one forfeit. Okay, and that, I guess that's what you're attributing it to. Uh, what's going on and why so many red shirts? You know, it's, it's just been one of those situations where uh, it's just kind of a, a bad streak for us, but we've had, a, we've had, seriously, we've had seven kids who unfortunately are not going to be able to continue for this season. They might be able to nurse some things through, but we have a couple of torn labrums, some things that they've carried through high school and weren't taken care of, so now we're gonna to try to take care of them. But it is, it is what it is. It's given our younger kids an opportunity to wrestle, which isn't gonna hurt us in the long run. But like I said, we're kind of a work in progress. Okay, to the people who say, Harry Volkman still doesn't have the fire in the belly. They'd have been here tonight, they'd have seen you have the fire in your belly. Talk about the call um, and the 165 pound match and uh, what got you so fired up, man? It's, well, it, you know, it's an anticipate, particularly as an official, uh, you have to have an anticipatory response to be a good one. So this is definitely, you know, Drew Schaefer, he's an unorthodox type of kid. He hits that basket cradle from, a, from an odd circumstance. Uh, a wizard, a is wizard. Completely, he is completely on the opposite side and he has no anticipation for where that may go. So not only, you know, we end up in a situation where we lose a couple of points, but we lose four points on the other end that we definitely have definitively. So that's a six-point swing. That's huge. That's huge for us in that circumstance. But uh, that, that is what it is. I'll give them the tape. You know, Jody works real hard at it. We've given them a great opportunity to officiate a, a number of different matches here. But I've always, I've always stressed them. Jody, you got to be in position to officiate, you know, to officiate wrestling. And in college, the premium goes up, as you know. I mean, these kids are amazing. They can score from a lot of different situations. You have to know what you're looking at. You really need to be able to do that. Okay, what's the expectations for the rest of the season for you guys? I, I'll always be catching up with you, but between here and, you know, February 20th, what do you want to see happen with your guys? Well, you know, I think continued progress. We don't want to make the same mistakes over and over. Uh, when we wrestled against Ohio Northern, we made some mistakes that we, we, we did not make, uh, you know, in this particular match. So I thought our kids, seriously, were in there. They were battling. We had two one-point matches that swung the other way this time around. Good for Mount Union. They did a great job there. But we're in there, and that's all I'm looking for. I'm looking for a great, great effort out of our kids. We got that, and we're going to get better. As long as we stay aggressive and we're making aggressive mistakes at this juncture of the season, I'm, I'm all good with that. All right, you got anything else for me, Coach Walker? No, I don't. Right, hey, thanks for, uh, for having me tonight, and uh, we'll be catching up with you. It is always a pleasure. Thanks. You know.